Mervyn Day in goal, he passed uh, a late fitness test. Bonds, Lampard, Pike, uh, Tommy Taylor, McGiven, Radford, Robson, Devonshire, Brooking and Alan Taylor with uh, Billy Jennings the substitute and still to get on the score sheet for West Ham since joining them for Arsenal, John Radford, though I must say his work in the air has already proved more than useful to them in the past few weeks. Derby are in happier shape this week, this is their side. Bolton, Langham, Webster, Daly, McFarland and Todd, Powell, Gemmell, Hector, Charlie George back after an absence of six games, Leighton James back after an absence of two games and Newton is their substitute. So John Radford's old Arsenal colleague is in the enemy camp. Here he is, Charlie George, uh, looking for the goals that will make Derby County safe. Referee today, Reg Robinson from Norwich and a really good crowd at Upton Park today, some 32,000 strong now waiting for the start. So here we go then, Derby County kicking off and attacking the goal to our left in white shirts. West Ham in their claret and blue and this nail-biting situation at the bottom of the first division goes one further step forward. Colin Bolton here for Derby County with the ball. A sharp shower of rain about 20 minutes ago adding uh, another ingredient to a nail-biting afternoon giving the surface a little bit of a slippery top. Steve Powell winning a good ball in the air for Derby County. But, of course, everything at the bottom of the first division is so tight and so confused that one good result can make things suddenly seem a lot happier just as one bad one can send one into the depths of despair. West Ham have had a very good run. They've lost only one of their last ten. But this really is another critical afternoon for them. Radford winning that in the air. He's yet to score for his new club since he joined them from Arsenal. Here's McGiven just getting in and uh, an offside flag against Kevin Hector. So Tommy Taylor, and a kick not taken from exactly the right spot. He'll need to go back another three yards or so. I never really see quite what that is meant to mean when uh, two or three yards in that position really can't make an awful lot of difference. Mervyn Day with a very sharp haircut. Devonshire's header. Radford shielding it nicely for Brooking. On again for Devonshire. McFarlane's after him. Devonshire's got the cross in. And it's a goal there by Pike. Inside the first two minutes, West Ham have struck the way they wanted to. And Jeff Pike, the man, a young man with a happy knack of scoring important goals, has done it again. Devonshire again. What a find he's been for West Ham. Beating McFarlane to that uh, ball to the near post, to the uh, byline, overcame the cross, too high for Robson, but not for Pike. Pass Bolton, West Ham 1, Derby County 0. Jeff Pike, the man who's got it. And that's the sixth of the season for him, and he's only recently come into the West Ham side. Here's Todd. To Gemmell. McGiven again getting in quickly and playing the ball there. Brooking sending Taylor on his way. He's gone past McFarland again. There's a little chip. Oh, and it might come yet. Robson. Over the top. Brilliant play by West Ham. And Alan Taylor again showing a very clean pair of heels to Roy McFarland. What a delicate little cross there. Steve Powell got it off the line. And as it came to Brian Robson, he could only turn it back over the crossbar. Hector coming quickly off Lampard. Powell. Ten minutes gone, West Ham leading 1-0. And Todd playing a long ball towards Charlie George. Oh, and a good save there by Dave from uh, Leighton James. Tommy Taylor's header not getting a lot of distance. And James on it like a thunderbolt, right foot. And a good save down by the post by Mervyn Day. Well, it's Ron Webster coming up here. And Alan Taylor right back there to make sure he doesn't make too much progress. Here's McGiven. That's not a bad-looking ball there to Pike. A little touch there for Robson, who didn't quite react to it quickly enough. Look at McFarlane getting in there again. Gamal versus Pike. Two West Ham youngsters there now as Devonshire takes it up. A touch for uh, Billy Bonds, and away go West Ham surging forward once more. Devonshire taking up the momentum of it. Pass Gemmell. Now can he get the cross in? Radford on the far side. Not it down there for Pike again, just over. Good move.
John Radford, who's yet to score for West Ham since he came from Arsenal, is doing a tremendous amount of good work, and that was a lovely nod down there by him from that long cross. Unfortunately for West Ham, Pike had to take it quickly, and over it went. Everybody else is worrying about John Radford not scoring except John Radford. Robson. Bonds. Good jump there by Webster. Here's Charlie George, the little touch off for Daly. Derby coming forward through the midfield again. Langham, the uh, fullback, linking up. Hector, been very muted in this first half. Gemmel into the path of Todd. Derby again have got a lot for, and this time they've got a free kick. As Leighton James is brought down by Tommy Taylor. A free kick to Derby. 90 seconds from half time. And it could hardly be in a more critical position. Alan Taylor went to have a quick word with Mervyn Day about something there. Gary Daly, the dead eyed kicker from dead ball situations, Daly. And West Ham with plenty in that wall. Leighton James curling it. And it's into the back of the net. Well, it hit the stanchion and it was hard for the crowd to understand it, but Leighton James has curled that ball into the West Ham net. Round the side of the wall. It hit the stanchion of the back. That's what fooled everybody. And that makes it 1-1. Derby away. Charlie George. Here's Billy Bonds. Brooking. Oh, what a nice touch by Brooking now for Alan Taylor. There's a good cross by him and uh, pushed behind by Bolton. He's flinging in some uh, superb crosses, Alan Taylor, and he gets it in so early as well before a defence can really organise themselves. That time just a little too close, if anything, to the goalkeeper, and he was able to turn that over. So, a corner for West Ham. Trevor Brooking will take it. Billy Bonds right in there. In fact, it's Bonds' header, and it's skated across there. For David Macken to find Jerry Daly for Derby. West Ham's throw. Billy Bonds sprung a few forward again. Brooking trying to get something there. Bonds knocking it in again. Radford's right there. Devonshire lined up the shot but waited too long, and Steve Powell was there again for Derby. And a throw for West Ham. Here's Brooking. Back again for Devonshire. All played here for Pike. Hit that well! Oh, and he hit the post. How unlucky can you get? What a brilliant shot there by Jeff Pike. Played square for him beautifully. And hit it beautifully too. Wide of the diving Bolton, but off the post. So West Ham's corner, Brooking with it. Curled in once more. And over the top. Brooking with the free kick. Curled a little bit behind the uh, strikers that time, but nonetheless struck well and saved well. Good shot there by Lampard, and uh, it looked for one moment as though it might creep in until Colin Bolden was down on it. Great shot all on the ground there by Lampard. And some fine work there by Colin Bolden. Macken away. Daly, Hector, it's Devonshire again, played short to McGibbon. One of those massive kicks by Mervyn Day. Will it catch Derby out? Well, Radford's there, Brookings there. Oh, and another great save. Now, can Taylor turn it back? They are destined not to get one this afternoon, West Ham. A tremendous shot. In fact, it's the old ploy that West Ham used from time to time. The long clearance by Mervyn Day. Derby instantly under pressure. The ball falling to Brooking. Hit it, in fact, knee high. And Colin Bolton down well, pushing it away. And Alan Taylor couldn't get it back. Gemmell 
for Derby. Only Charlie George is up, though. Kemmel did well there. Kept position long enough for other people to come up and support him. And here's Leighton James. And Macken, what a good piece of running by him. Taken up a good position, and James found him well. A long cross and a bad one. Well, he did so much that was uh, very good. And not least in that movement, the pass of Leighton James that picked up David Langan. Mike for West Ham. Robson. Played into the path of Brooking. Taken on well by Brooking. Crossed there. Oh, and it was just a fraction too high for Taylor. What an agonizing moment for West Ham. Brooking getting past his man, and he couldn't quite control it to get the shot in. But then thought well and nicked it there, and it was just too high for Alan Taylor. Here's Brooking again. Well, it's one of those chances that could settle this whole thing. And although Derby, to be honest, don't look like uh, capitulating and in fact look quite dangerous on their breaks, it's West Ham in the second half who've made those one or two chances that just haven't come their way, that haven't, uh, they haven't been able to finish off. Gemmel, Langan, Todd, Playing with a lot of composure and a lot of style, Derby. And here's Gemmel. Oh, this could be dangerous now for West Ham. Gemmel putting it across, and he's into the goal. Put there by McGibbon, and that puts Derby into the lead. Well, what a tragedy there for Mick McGibbon. Archie Gemmel, well, he looks as though he's almost in tears, and I think that's probably how he feels. What a cruel twist of fate that was for Mick McGibbon, such a sturdy defender. And as Gemmel took that ball down to the byline, hit it back, difficult always for defenders. And Mick McGibbon, it came off him, I think probably through the legs of Mervyn Day, and into the back of the net. West Ham 1, Derby County 2. Well, an afternoon that started so brilliantly for West Ham with that goal in 90 seconds has got a pretty gloomy look about it at this moment. Lampard with the cross. Todd with the header away. Pike with a shot too high. Goal kick. Well, Billy Jennings, who in fact is the second top scorer for West Ham, he's got eight this season. Oh, it's Mick McGibbon, it's the number six going on. Well, an unhappy Mick McGiven going up there. It's his own goal, and I think it has to go down as an own goal that uh, has put Derby into the lead. Pike getting in there. The Derby defence just for a moment dithered there, and they haven't done much of that today. header Billy Bonds getting in there Robson touching it down again for Radford Robson turning it off this time for Brooking shot charged down by Ron Webster here's Devonshire again Derby have pulled a lot back now Bonds turning it in once more Robson right in there Billy Jennings is there and Jennings has equalized 2-2 Substitution certainly worked. A goal with uh, just under five minutes left that West Ham desperately wanted. The ball bobbling around there for quite a while until Billy Jennings found himself free and hit it really on the volley into the net beyond Bolton. West Ham 2, Derby County 2. And the trick certainly worked for West Ham with Billy Jennings coming on as a substitute and within two minutes of coming on getting the equaliser. We're going to get a really stylish finish now. Derby, I imagine, would be happy to settle for the point away from home with two home games to come. West Ham must go searching now for this second point. Pike. On for Brooking. Todd had the power to get out of trouble there. 
or rather uh, Langen. And have to go a long, long way and played a good ball in for Charlie George and a brilliant piece of defence there by Billy Bonds. Mervyn Day was applauding his skipper there because uh, Charlie George suddenly went into overdrive and took that pass from uh, Langen so well and just as he hit it, so too did Billy Bonds and it went behind. Well, is it going to be a last throw for Derby County? Macken, Powell hitting it in there, Roy McFarlane's right in there, could be, but it isn't. So a goal kick for West Ham. And the game stays balanced to the very last second. Mervyn Day with a kick for West Ham. That's the final whistle. It's a point apiece when uh, both of them really came and wanted to. And Billy Jennings was the man who made sure at least that West Ham got one with that uh, goal soon after coming on as a substitute when it seemed that West Ham might be denied anything at all. Jeff Pike having scored for them so early in the game. And then Derby County going uh, level, first of all, with Leighton James's free kick. And then ahead with the unfortunate own goal by Mick McGibbon. And then, as I say, Billy Jennings getting that uh, vital lifesaver for West Ham. Colin Bolton, two tremendous saves in the second half and a great slice of luck when Jeff Pike's shot hit the post.